Hello everyone, this video is about the presentation of design for animation narrative structures and film. I will introduce my paper from four aspects. Introduction, preliminary study, study text, and conclusion. First is introduction. First is introduction. There are a lot of well-written novels in China at present. More and more novels are adapted from IP cells into TV series, animation, and other works. But it's shocking that most of them are not good. You should know that the novels that can be adapted from IP cells are written well or very popular and have a large number of fans, and it has its own audience. So I want to write a paper to study how to better adapt the works. The second part is preliminary study. I made a draft listing the good and bad adaptation and stating why they were good and why they were bad. The a biggest problem I found was the narrative structure. And if you want to know more, this blog is for details. After comprehensive consideration, I plan to take Pondering Sorrow into Fire as the main case of my article to study the narrative structure, since the successful of Dou Luo Land has nothing to do with my course. But because the success of this animation is so interesting, I wrote a separate blog to investigate the phenomenon. Pouring Sorrow into Fire, the animated adaptation of rhythm and audience visual language is very good. I'm going to discuss the techniques of storytelling in three terms of suspense and the surprise, clipping and character perspective. Pouring sorrow into fire, the story is very complex, ring by ring, and it uses Chekhov's gun and Alfred Hickey-Cocos suspenseful principle to give the audience a very strong sense of suspense and surprise. Whether it's writing or adapting, it's very demanding. The editing technique used extensively in the animation is parallel editing. There are two or more events in intersect to create synchronization on the timeline or the reinforce on the potential connections between their own events. In addition, the animation brings the audience into the perspective of the main character, Xuan Ji, because Xuan Ji, no matter internal or psychological description, are quite detailed. Xuan Ji's psychological description often leads to and summarize his and the audience questions about the unknown world. Even if the audience themselves do not understand, there will be for the audience to summarize the plot. I hope there will be more good adapted works in the future. After all, a good IP is very rare, which is on, not only the effort of the author, but also the love of fans. So don't let them down. Thank you for your watching. Would you have another questions?